What touched you? What touched you? What touched? Oh, I missed. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What about you? Did you find it? Oh no! What touched you? Oh my knee! Oh, it touched you! You got it! Huh? Where'd it go? Did it touch you? Situations where my dogs are nervous and they're searching the ground. What is it? It touched you! It touched you! It touched you! I will put something with deeper pressure a lot of times. Me! Give them a little bit of a startle response. Why do we do a startle response? Because it actually helps use those neurochemicals that are making them be so anxious and searching, seeking the way that they are. Thicker stick. Oh, where'd it go? It did get you. Oh God, it did get you. What touched you? You don't have to say what touched you, but I do. <gasps> what about you? Oh God, it touched you. It touched you. See how when she walks around now, it could be a lot less stimulating and so pointed. Hi, huh, Roxy. Did you find something? Hold on, stop. Here, let's go back. Let's hang out with Blue. There you go. Where did it go? Was there more? See, she's looser. She can exhale more. Haskegaquai Nation. Oh, you found your stick. Also known as Tucson, Arizona. Thank you, Roxy. We're gonna go back in a minute. Oops, sorry, I stepped on your leash. And also, I can grab things and go, ready, oh my God, where'd it go? Where did it go? And then we can look around and search for it more. And then I'm gonna take your stick. I got you. Wanna see? Search for things together. There's ants everywhere. She just, or there's a bug, it's not even an ant. Okay, what should I go put back? Thank you. Wanna go find another one? Come here. So when I go to touch her now, it's not gonna matter. Wait, Roxy. Ew, that looks gross. Baby lizard. Maybe that's what she was looking for. Is he looking at me? Get your dog under control. Roxy, I found one. I'm not gonna show her though. Roxy, over I found something, look. Roxy, look. Are you sure? This is what Belle and I would do. Did you find something? Cautious and smell and, oh my goodness. Oh, you took, why that one? Why not this one? It's the same thing. Hey, let's go to, oh wait. What's over here? Blue, you wanna do it too? Roxy, you wanna help me? Oh, look, there's cockroaches. Ew, ew, see I had to start a response. Ew, now we're all doing it. Those are roaches. Bless you. Hold on, Rox, you're stuck. Ew, that was gross. We'll do it again. Nope, nothing there. So yeah, explore with your dog, even if it freaks you out for a second, because it's kind of what's happening. <gasps> when you go to see something, you're like, oh my God, what was that? It's your seeking system. It's also you, your fear, part of your fear system going, is it? Oh, it's not so bad. And then you get some relief, which is your parasympathetic nervous system kicking in, <sighs> helping you feel better. But the whole time you're lurking, you're searching, anticipating. That's your sympathetic nervous system. <gasps> what is it? Oh my God, what's gonna happen? That's why a lot of us like Halloween. We like haunted houses. Roller coasters are a great example of going through your primary emotional systems and seeing your, being able to breathe and you're kind of resetting your brain so you're not so nervous the whole time. Yes, you get scared, but then you settle, and then at the end, you recover. Thank you, Blue. All right, Roxy, last one. Again, we're on Pasquai, Pasquai, Yaquai Nation, Stolen Land, Tucson, Arizona. 